And you guys could come on around here. We can fit into the second pew right here. Mm -hmm. You can come around here. Yep. Either squeeze in here and get cozy. You guys could come around. I see many of you are dressed up and ready for the Christmas season. You're ready for celebrating Jesus to be here. Now let's imagine that someone important is going to come visit you at your house. Maybe it's your aunts or uncles. Maybe it's your good friends from a long ways away. Or maybe it's even your grandparents. But they're very important guests, right? And so you want to help your parents get the house ready. Some of the things you might do would be like cleaning up around the house. What might you need to do to clean up the house with your parents? Yeah. That's a really good idea. Picking up the toys that are scattered all over the ground. Uh, yes, over here, and then we'll go right here. Yeah. You like cleaning up? That's good. I bet your parents really appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, good. Hanging up clothes for sure. Foster, what did you have? Hmm. Oh, the bathroom. That's a really good one. Oh, and vacuuming. Yeah, vacuuming for sure. A couple more. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. I don't always make my bed. I should probably do that. Making bed is a good one. Yeah. All of those are really good ways. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. For sure, cleaning up sister's toys. That's very good of you to be helpful in that way. And we do all of this because we love our parents and we want to prepare for the people that are coming. Well, Jesus tells us that our hearts are like little tiny houses for him. And Jesus, we know, is our king, right? We want to offer Jesus the best. But here's the thing. Our heart has some dust and dirt in it. The corners are filled maybe with some cobwebs or dust bunnies. And the things that we do wrong make it a little bit dirty. Sometimes I think bad things. Sometimes I say unkind words. Sometimes I do not very nice things to those around me. But Jesus gives us good news. That he's already swept out our hearts and made them clean. He's already prepared them to be a place for him to live. All through what he did at that cross for you and me where he died to pay for all of our sins. But now as we approach that Christmas season, getting ready to celebrate the birthday of our Savior, you can know that Jesus does live in your hearts. Just like you get ready and get happy when your family shows up, we can live in that happiness and peace at Christmas time, knowing Jesus has made our hearts clean and he now lives there forever. Amen. Thanks for coming up. You guys can head back to your seats.